On this episode of Dingle DIY, I'm going to be putting some roof racks and a roof rack basket on my Honda CRV. G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Dingle DIY. For those of you that are new here, I'm Rob Dingle Die, and this is my channel all about helping you guys uh, learn how to do more things yourself. So, if you didn't see my last video, I got a new project car, which is this 2013 Honda CRV, uh, and I want to take it on a big road trip. So. In preparation for that road trip, I'm going to be modifying it, uh, servicing it, doing a bunch of things. Starting with some crossbars, because this car already has the roof rack rails uh, and a roof rack basket. So let's jump into it. All right, I got these brand new off eBay for 80 bucks. So we've got some instructions here, pretty straightforward. That just makes sure that you know which one's the front, which one's the back, and left and right. Okay, so if you think you're going to take these cover plates off, you don't. Uh, you'll just notice that one of them has holes in it, which is this one. Now that means we can tighten up these two screws once we get this set to length without having to take this cover plate off. Because once the roof racks are installed, you won't have access to this filler head screw anymore. Now these screws in here are Torx bits, uh, and they do not match the hardware that is supplied. They supply Allen head bolts to mount the roof racks to the car. So you will need to supply your own Torx bit. All right, now that these bolts are loose, we can slide this in and out. That's gonna let us set this to the right length. So we'll take this over to the car and chuck it on. Alright, the first thing you're going to notice are these grey plastic cover plates. Now just rip them off with your fingernail um, or a screwdriver. Now I'm going to put Loctite on these threads just in case these vibrate loose. Um, we're just going to wind these in loose for now and then tighten up that side and then we can tighten this side back up. The reason I want to do that is if these are too tight it might make it hard for me to line the holes on that side. All right, now that all four bolts are in most of the way, I can go ahead and tighten them all the way up. All right, now that the bolts are done up, that has spread these feet apart, and now we can lock the bar down in position. You will need a Torx bit that will fit in this gap. All right, if you do get the roof racks I have, you're gonna need a pretty short ratchet to get under there to do those Torx bolts up. Now this, this thing failed on me because it is so small, it's weak. Uh, and the way out of that is just to get an adjustable wrench, uh, tighten down over the Torx bit, uh, and you can tighten it up that way. No problems, just solutions, remember that. Now the roof racks are all done. Um, the front one's the same as the back, so just repeat the process twice. Now I know you can get them color matched to the roof rails, but I got black ones to color match the roof rack basket. So let's crack that open, put it together and we'll throw it on the roof. Damn it. So the aim here is to get all of the U-bolts roughly in position and we'll leave them a bit loose and then we can measure up and get the roof rack centered left, right, front and back. And once we're happy with the center of it, we can just tighten these down. And when we tighten these down, we just want to make sure we do them up evenly so that we've got a good amount of pressure on both sides of the bracket. Uh, I've also decided to put my own spring washers in just because I want to keep things tight. All right, I had to bend the front two U-bolts a bit, but we got them to work in the end. And I had to flip these rear ones upside down because there is no bar back here to fit these over. Not perfect, but it's plenty strong enough. Uh, it's just more of an aesthetic thing than anything else. All right, that wasn't exactly a by-the-book installation, but uh, we had to adapt to make it all work. Now I'm confident with how strong it is, I can shake the crap out of it, uh, and nothing moves. The car is 
flexing around, so if it doesn't budge when I'm shaking it like a madman, then I'm pretty sure it's not going to go anywhere. Now those spring washers are going to help uh, on the hand knobs, but you will want to check those every now and then, maybe every time you fill up, just in case they rattle loose over time. Now that's going to go a long way to increasing the amount of things I can put in the car and also keeping things safe. If I'm doing a long road trip or I'm going camping, taking a chainsaw, I can keep the petrol on the roof uh, and then that way I'm not sleeping with petrol fumes in the cabin. So that's the beauty of a roof rack basket. Uh, I can throw whatever I want up there, firewood, bikes, you name it. So one of the simpler mods you can do and pretty good way to get into uh, modifying cars. I mean, it's one of the first things you could do to a car and yeah, you'll get a lot out of it. Uh, it's easy to do and I think that's enough said. So if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Uh, and if you want to see more CRV content or more overlanding content in general, uh, hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified every time I bring out a new video. So. See you in the next one and thanks for watching.